When I'm going through some hard times, I often like to look back on the memories of what made me happy. What is it? It's your boy Rico. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Duel. Another episode of Pokemon Duel. I just want to say that every time I make a video. Um, but, uh, forgive me, today is Friday, I am doing the Throwback Thursday today because I forgot to do it yesterday just because of what's been going on in the world, and you know what, we're gonna go here to talk about this. Uh, just been dealing with, you know, the, um, the, the most dangerous beer disease is what we'll say, because I don't want to say it because I don't want it, my video to be demonetized, because in times like this, when people are, you know, in a financial situation, financial burden, if I must say, um, got to get everything I can, you know, so I don't want my video to be demonetized. But what I want to do is I want to reach out to you guys and ask you guys, like, how you're dealing with the situation. Are you guys okay with whatever, you know, country, state, providence, whatever you're at, so please let me know in the comments below. Let's have a discussion. Like, what are you guys doing? What's the state of where you're at? What are you doing to be entertained? Please let me know uh, in the comments below. But all right, guys, let's just jump into today's episode. And today we're going to watch this is Pokemon Duel. This is probably one of my favorite videos. Um, I did pretty well, 5,000 views. I, I like it a lot. And this is the video that, like, it showcases all of the, the annoying times, like the RNG and stuff like that. But it still made what Pokemon Duel was. And it was such a great game. And despite all of, you know, <laughs> the bad rolls and everything, like, to look back at it now, it's just, it's funny. It's 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 fun to laugh about. And also, before we jump into that, I do want to cover this. Now, one week ago, I uploaded a video that says, Stay Tuned, Pokemon Duel. I want to show you guys so much more, okay? Like, I've, I've played around with it. I've tested it. I want to show you guys the mechanics for it. But I talked to the person who's actually doing this, and they're not being very responsive. So the last thing I want to do is, like, provide you guys some hope with something coming out but me not knowing when exactly it is going to come out you know and same with the tabletop simulator my thoughts on that were you know you guys already know what my thoughts are i don't know what they're going to do i from what i heard is it's going to be pushed back from the end of march and i don't even know if the things that i talked about are even going to be addressed because as of right now no part of me even wants to play the tabletop simulator so let's hope that this takes off and then just hope that everybody else who's working on some sort of Pokemon Duel remake is still there making it despite everything that's going on in the world. So, all right, guys, sorry that enough for the rant. Let's jump into this is Pokemon Duel. The Close Guard is one of the great traditional positions of Jiu-Jitsu. It is used in all areas of Jiu-Jitsu. Gi First thing I want to say is Jiu-Jitsu. <laughs> I'm pretty sure ads are like targeted towards whatever you normally view. I don't ever. When was the last time I even looked at any sort of mixed martial arts? So to see jujitsu as an ad, that's kind of weird there. But all right, let's jump in. <clears throat> I have to. I have to, man. Oh my god. I have to risk it right here. We have to risk it. He doesn't have a DC, so. Dude, I, I, I listen. I don't want to stop so much, but, dude, I miss this game so much and I don't have an extra star oh wow he's not going to go for the cheese I feel like wow. he had to wow dude bro you got to go for the cheese there you got to go for the cheese there because now I can go for the cheese this is our win condition man this is it boys boys and girls this is it right here let's go let's go buddy come on Come on. Number one gold attacker in the game, ladies and gentlemen, was determined right here. Like, really? Really? <laughs> Look at everybody in the chat, like, going off. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, I was so salty here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what I want to know is who you is. I want to know like what their reaction was when this happened. I, I wonder if they even knew who I was, but 
even if you didn't know who I was, to do that to an opponent would have to be like, you'd have to be grinning from ear to ear. <laughs> I'm mad for you, G. Ah, I missed G. Oh, this game. Okay, first of all, you're going to see me misplay, but let me explain this game, okay? For those of you who didn't see it, for those of you who weren't there at the stream, I Z moved my low tick twice. I Z moved their my low tick twice, and twice it hit the, what is it, the magic coat? Twice it hit that. I'm pretty sure this match, I beat this po opponent. Like, I would have beaten them three times, but they got the most ungodly... Or most godly, sorry. The most godly rolls ever. And at this point, I was just so pissed off. I'm pretty sure my timer was like maybe 20 seconds left. So you'll see the misplay and watch me freak out. Dude, I, oh my god. See, I'm already mad right there because I knew he got the uh, the Pawnee Wish. We are playing in the gym. So his Chandelure has 3 MP. So I knew the game was over. Because I have 25 seconds left, as you guys can see, and they have a minute and 47. All I had to do here, because my Z gauge was up, I had to Z. All I had to do is Z move my uh, the chandelure with my heat rotom, because my heat rotom is 3 MP. But at this point, because that just happened right there, I looked at my Z gauge and I was like, okay, consciously, I'm like, my Z gauge is not up. I did not factor in the Z gauge moving up after the exclusion and then like i said i was already salted i'm at 25 seconds so when, when my time is low i don't think the smartest God, you've got to be kidding me you seriously have got to be kidding me right now if i've never seen a game where rng just gave somebody the freaking win and i would have got it <laughs> and i just throw my hat dude i'm so salty so i know i know it was a misplay but i told you guys why but you guys know bet if I would have Z-moved, he would have hit the purple. He would have hit the branded. You know that. You 100% know that. Yeah, because of Zoro. Zoro means nothing to me now, right? Yeah. Okay, at the height of this game, right? The rush decks were still a thing. 4 MP, um, Dio speed. Zoro was not nerfed yet, so Zoro could switch with the Dio speed. We just got the Haxorus, and I was so confident in the Haxorus. Watch. Yeah, Zoro means absolutely nothing. So he takes the extra point, and then we're gonna long throw um, the Haxorus, and then we're gonna. Why am I rocking a dragon? I never ran a dragon deck. This is interesting. I guess I did. Start having some. Yo, shout! Look at this layout, though. Tell me this layout is not sick. What the hell? Ugh. Oh, probably one of my most favorite layouts ever. What the? Why is this not playing? Here. Okay. Take out that deal. Oh, we're going straight after this deal. Because he's probably going to bring, I would say, Nala. Yeah. So, I don't even really need to DC here. I don't Mistake. DC, so. Number one. Oh, he did it. Oh, rip. Okay, now that that happened, I want you guys just to, oh, actually, I might be in the way. I'm going to move this for a second. Look, watch the chat just go off. <laughs> oh, dude, I miss you guys. I miss streaming this game. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, at least I didn't throw my phone, right? <laughs> Hello! My name is Steven, but most of you guys know me as Rico. I love Pokemon, and Pokemon Duel is the best mobile Pokemon game for me. Facts. I've met so many people across the world from this game, and some I call my close friends. Still to this day? This game has gone through a lot of ups and downs, and 2018 has some of the biggest changes yet. Oh no. They introduced Z-moves, 
and removed Mega Evolution plates as counting towards hour eight. We even lost a few of our friends due to the end of service. Do you guys remember when the Z, uh, Z moves were green? Remember that? Because of the EU gambling laws. However, there is a workaround to this. Oh, just you guys know, this is against listener. Although, remember listener? There seems to be a decline in players. This is me beating listener, just so you know. I still look back at all the good times and reminisce of everything this game has gone through. From Dio and Reuniclus decks. Look at that to deck. Short lived Malamar counter. From the anti meta deck to the rush. Squared and Dragon, now to Ghost, Grass, and Water. I cannot wait to see what's in store for 2019. Little did we know what happened in 2019. Dude, I'm going to get sad watching this video. Booster openings were a huge staple to this game. No idea how they're going to replace such an iconic feature in Duel. All this play was Unknown dope. Unknown is the desire that keeps me motivated. Here's to 2018 being a challenging year in 2019 being the year of new possibilities. What's good? It's your boy Rico and welcome back to another episode. Dude, I miss our eggs. I know I've kind Camille. of Camille. I miss you, bro. Off Camille. Of games, but regardless, we have a new banner that is here and Can I Can I just say I'm actually really sad at this video. I, like I wish Camille had the the PC that he has now because my footage came in but his footage completely like crashed. So Dude, shout out to RX Gaming, dude. He put in so much effort to edit and make the video because I recorded it and I sent it to him. But his PC was just like really shitty at the time, and uh, yeah, he he lost a lot of footage and he made it well. And it was like a two day editing for him because it was just slow. But shout out to RX, man. I hope you I hope you're doing well, brother. I don't know if you're watching this, but I hope you're doing well, man. I miss you. I am joined by the one and only RX Gaming. AKA Mr. Kamil, Mr. 2018 goals. He wants a new computer. Let's help him get it. RX, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow! Wow! That was from a gold light. Are you kidding me? Sorry, that hurt my ears too. Wow. Why is this frozen? Let's go. Cure oh. of hype. Wow. Oh, Lorantis right here. Let's go. What is happening? Maybe. Lorantis, there we go. We got the, the second Lorantis. Yo, if I'm rocking three Lorantis. Oh, we got some good times, man. Oh, this is, this is purple, that is definitely purple. Let's go, let's go, <laughs> Brent. Oh, you're leaving right at the good time, my friend. Let's go. But wow, what? What is going on? What, I, I, oh, the nostalgia, man. My opponent makes a mistake to fake out he wants to get that evolution but i get the sweet scent you know exactly what that oh means. dude off of the goal and then i go through him <laughs> what was that lunala you can't be moved because of your ability get out of here so my thickest lip ability and that is two games that i cheat right. oh this is it this is it that's not it rainbow lights and it yo we just said the meloetta layout was like the best Mm, uh, this was kind of dope, though, right? This one's dope. <clears throat> Do we still have two mods, and we have three mods that are that are cursed. I'm like Zoro. Let's go, Zoro. But yeah, Zoro feels good. Now that I think about it, like Zoro was such a great counter to um, Rayquaza and Mega Rayquaza because it did have the cross counter. And also, he was the number one gold attacker in the game. So when this stuff happened, and you guys know that uh, Rayquaza did like to fly a lot, Zoro was the perfect counter. I often DC'd on Ray's a lot. And the game comes through, gets rid of this Ray. Toros hits for 160. All we have to do is hope that this Milo... Okay, before we... So I, you guys know that I've been playing Pokemon Sword and Shield a lot, right? So I've been streaming that, playing like competitively in FFAs a lot. And we were, for some reason, we were talking about Tauros. And I was like, dude, the only time I ever used a Tauros was in Pokemon Duel at the team match event when we only had three Z moves. This was one of them. Tip does not land the purple, so we're going to attack. Get him, Tauros! And they get the miss. Let's go. God. Look at this animation coming from Tauros. Getting beaten by Tauros. Let's Bam. go. And we confused the mute, and that is GG, boys. I'm just gonna pull up. I'm just gonna DC and I'm gonna go for it. I realize if I lose this roll, I lose the game. But 
when the opportunity arises, what do I always say? You have to. We call that the bait and switch. That's what we do. Yeah, why is it all a little laggy? So, uh, feels bad, but not really. Not really. We're in a we're in a desperate time right now, so desperate time calls. Do it again. Measures, and it is time to YOLO. We're gonna DC. I mean, the pony, He's not even level five. Not fearing the pony. You guys knew really? that was going to happen. But, I mean, it puts him in a tough position. And he actually gets rid of my Gengar. And I'm like, really? So he's going to gold block here. And I'm like, that's fine. Lucario? Like, I understand that you, you probably have the Mega Gardevoir. But I feel like Gardevoir would have been a better gold block here. Because it has more purple. Like, I understand Lucario has purple and blue. But it's only a one-star one purple. Well, actually, no, maybe Lucario is better because it does have blue. And the fake out's a three star purple. Okay, so never mind. That's a good play. Fine. Because we're going to go for it. Yo, baby, let's go. Hell yeah, we're still going for it. DC, he lands the white, which is perfect. I was fearing the dodge. We land our impact charge. Come on, can we get that fake out? Let's go. G Wait, doesn't impact charge like push them back? So he would have pushed them back. Uh. Is it like one spot or is it like all the way? I think it's like one spot. Then I could have taken the entry with Coco the following turn. But then he would just cover up and then I'd have to stop the Gardevoir. Bullets. He's not going to attack here. I believe he didn't want to attack because <laughs> he wanted to. These vids were so good. I, but when I saw my opponent, I thought. These were my favorite. Them, so like, These cheeses were my favorite. My opponent doesn't know. He doesn't know. I'm so I don't know why he mega like really, like why would you mega and not attack? I mean I guess he didn't want to get rid of my Gorgas so but because he does not view my Gorgas as a threat, we are going to do what I said. We are going to attack and trick or treat something close to the goal, which is this blim. And then my opponent, what he does here, he DCs. He's got three DCs. He's gonna try and cheese on my Punkaboo. And when I saw him go for my Punkaboo, I was like, oh, he's gonna try and get the Selly back on the board that is absolutely fine i'll let him do that because he's probably going to try and surround my uh Gorgas. he doesn't know <sighs> but he ko's me and i'm just gonna move over here i'm not going to attack and when he takes entry point i'm like it's over he doesn't know i'm not even gonna i'm, not, I'm just gonna move over my um zoro because he's unaware he surrounds me Gorgas is gone and so is the driftlin so that is gg boys too. i actually have a better G -G uh really Gorgas like video but like i said in the last video Back when the ability was exclusion yeah. instead of knockout. Next would be if it can move three figures, but he's going after. Oh, I showed you guys this one. The most OP Charizard. See you later. Soft banish. Seven turns. And then the opponent is going to X attack here with the other Lorantis, trying to get that damage buff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Chill, 15. Charizard. Bright Flame hit for a whopping 15 times, doing 1070 damage. Absolutely insane. Also gets banished. And this time, it's, all, it's only going to hit four times. But this one is not soft banished. The best part now, this right is here. the most clutch Mega Zard X ever because the opponent here is going to double chance. And he's using the Formantis because he's trying to get the Grass Knight. And he gets it the first time, but Zard X come throughs and only comes through and only hits Bright Flame once. That's gotta feel Absolutely so bad. Absolutely just sweeps the opponent. Like that was that was one of the more entertaining matches that I've ever seen. Here we go. Wow. Guys, I have three more. Dude, even watching these videos like at the houses I was living in. And I have like no beard back then. Oh man, we went through some. We went through some good times, boys and girls, man. Some good times. We had some good times. We'll probably watch this one at another time, but damn, that was some good times. But all right, guys, we're gonna cut the video there. Uh, until next week, or until I hear some more information on these new games that we're getting. I'll see you guys then. Peace.